To balance this equation, let's add the atoms up on each side of the equation. I have this copper here, one of those, and then I have this SO4. And I can see over here, there's also an SO4. So I'm just going to call this SO4, one thing, and I have one of them. I have one calcium, and then I have an OH here, a hydroxide ion, and I have hydroxide ion over here. So I can just say I have one of these, but the two, that applies to everything. So one times two, I have two OHs. So over here on the products, it gets a little confusing because we have CA and CU. So we want to be really careful. I have one copper. I have sulfates, just one sulfate group. CA, I have one of those. And then the hydroxide, I have two. Looking at this, this equation's already balanced. I don't need to do anything. And that's because the copper has a plus two charge and the calcium, it's in group two, it has a plus two charge. So they're just swapping places and we don't need to balance because they just cleanly swap out. That's the balanced equation for CuSO4 plus CaOH2. Yield CaSO4 plus CuOH2. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.